What about the flying to Puerto Rico, living there for the 10% income tax and then sailing out of it? Uh, what do you think, and I don't know if you have much knowledge on it, on the general esports space? Because it's kind of a money sink from VCs uh, who all put money into it. Have you looked into this at all? I, I'm always a firm believer that if something's that good, you'd, you'd keep it private. Mm. Like, um, yeah. Right. And it seems like a lot of the IPOs are a way for investors to get their money out. Uh, and, yeah. and a way to capitalize on all the work. And I, I do think that from everyone, I mean, FaZe is so recognizable and they built such a huge brand. But I kind of think if they believed in themselves and they had the longevity, why do they need more money? Because they they would have no problem funding what they need to. But well, I again, I don't know the inner workings of their business. What generally happens with most esports companies is they start somewhat small, somewhat manageable, and then the overhead becomes absurd because getting like in a spot for for league of legends like an lcs spot it's like 40 million dollars to buy that you know getting a spot for like valorant's like 15 million what does that mean like to be in the league like like think of it as like the nba like buying a team slot and if you don't have that you're not a premier team right so well, you need to earn it you have to buy it huh. you can have an amazing roster of players in maybe a different league or, or, you know, some minor doing some minor league stuff. But then the only thing you can get out of that, if you're the owner of it is selling the players. So the, the, the game has really become flipping players. So just trying to get talented players and then sell them to bigger orgs or flipping spots in professional teams, uh, in like, um, like syndicated teams. I forget the exact word I'm looking for. Mm. Uh, but like flipping those is like generally how people are making their money. Uh, but outside of that, they're usually just burning through investor money with insane overhead and then eventually hoping to go public or get another round. Uh, but pretty much everyone is like just tanking money from the esports side. Yeah, it sounds viable. No, it doesn't sound sustainable. It sounds like it's a bit fatty. Yeah, you know? kind of. Like, yeah, for sure is. There's definitely teams that have just poofed away, right, and just disappeared. I feel like FaZe also kind of wanted to do like the, the cloudy thing, which was like, you yeah, know, you, if yeah. you go public, that's a ton of clout. Yeah, yeah. but like, they were the first. Th they were the first to do it, right? They were the first. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think there's like a holding company that's public that owns another esports org. Yeah, uh, but they're the first that's like their mm -hmm. their ticker is FaZe. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure it could be a lot of just a fad right now, but then over time it could develop. But I'm very much about like, what's the bottom line? How much money does it make? Let's not spend too much money. Let's keep low overhead and keep this thing running, running slim or right. lean. Then let me give you so. a little question. I'm going to show you my Robinhood account and okay. you tell me what are good investments and what are bad investments. Yeah, let's All do right. it. Can we, yeah, uh, you could, could you screen yeah, you can record it? Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, so you've gone from 261 down to 180. I mean, that's the market generally. Um, but in total, what? he's lost $25,000 in principle, which isn't like... It's not bad. I was no. up like forty percent at one point. I was doing what great. sucks is that you're down five percent today. Uh, nine, almost ten thousand dollars today. That's not. That's not bad, man. No, that's good. Down. Are yeah. You, are you using margin at all or no? What does that mean? Okay. Then, then not. that's yeah, a. Yeah. That means you're borrowing no. money from the platform. All right. So you got a third of a bitcoin. I think that's fine. Six thousand Dogecoin. I think that's, that's a. That's fine. I had I had some Dogecoin back in the day. I turned one hundred dollars into seventeen thousand. 100 yeah. isn't that crazy that's insane yeah. you had a you jack had, a had incredible time he sold at the peak yeah i lost it all though it's, it's uh, fine. yeah, yeah. I, i'd made a bit off it and then just kept some just in case yeah uh but i sold a lot of it mm -hmm. it's good probably good yeah uh, i like your stocks of art microsoft really safe apple, apple you can't good. go wrong with it yeah, yeah. disney i think is pretty good baba uh what do we got here coca-cola got a warren buffett stock there love coke then we got Ver Coca cola Verizon, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Verizon, but you know, but I'm bitter. I invested in T-Mobile a while ago, and they did nothing. How'd Ooh. you pick these stocks? Uh, so they're mostly things that I believe in. One, things that somebody told me to buy, like Verizon was the stock guy on Twitch, who just told me to buy Verizon, so I did. And then uh, some are memes, like United Airlines. I bought as a joke because I had a running thing that airlines can only go up. Uh, and then some are random YOLOs that I found on random websites. Yeah, like App Harvest. That's a we. I've never heard of this company, but you got, uh, uh, your average cost is $3.95, not bad. But at the peak, this was a like $30, no, yeah, $33 stock, and now it's two fifty six. 
Yeah, how do you pick that one? Told me to buy it because he said it was revolutionizing agriculture. I don't know. And I bought it because I like Germa. Anytime it's democratized or revolutionized, I'm just like, no, move on from that. Honestly, it's not that bad. Uh, I invested in Rocket. That's that's been a terrible, that terrible, was terrible company. A Wall but, Street bet YOLO. It was right oh, before yeah. their call or earnings call or whatever, and they're like, it's gonna go up, and I bought it, and it's down a lot. Yeah. Uh, Ford, I really like Ford a lot. Palantir has been awful. Um, yeah, that was one I never got into. Another uh, Wall Street bets. Oh, it yeah, turns out they're yeah. also an evil company. Oh, really? I think so, right? I don't, I don't think so. I'll stop recording. I don't think it's bad. So I mean, bad? No. But this is your I mean, play money, right? This yeah, is the, this is, yeah. Yeah, okay. so this is the, so that's the thing. It's like, if this, if this were your retirement account, I would look at that and be like, bro, we got to sell everything, <laughs> just an index fund it. Keep some cash on the sidelines. But if this is just like play money, it doesn't really matter. And I would just look at this like, are these companies that you believe in for the next five years? Mm -hmm. And if not, I mean, it doesn't hurt to take a loss on them. Get a write-off and put that money in a company that you do believe in. What does that mean? Uh, if you sell those at a loss, you're able to sell other investments that you have as a gain to cancel out. So let's say, let's just say you lost a hundred grand here, but you made a hundred grand over here. You could sell those those winning investment that that profit, offset it with a loss, owe no tax whatsoever. But it's the same amount of money. Correct. Yeah, you just, but it's like the net change in total. Is it, yes. is it just a a way to pull out of a company you don't believe in that you're losing on? Correct. It, the, the, the benefit, yes. the yeah, just just yeah. sell and then rebuy back yeah. in if it, you really it want to. Resets, you've made money on. It resets your cost basis, so that that way, like, imagine you sold those profitable stocks for you know a hundred thousand profit. Now you have to own tax on that, but you could offset that with losing investments like this, and then that way it resets your cost basis on whatever you want to buy. So I've made a shit ton on Amazon. I believe in them. I've lost a shit ton on App Harvest. I don't believe in them. Yeah. I sell both. It offsets, and then I go right back to Amazon. Correct. Everything. And now your cost basis is higher. Like imagine you're at uh, let's just let's just call it even numbers ten dollars on Amazon. Now it's worth twenty. Yeah. Uh, that difference you're gonna have to pay tax on that. But Capital by offsetting tax. it now, all of a sudden your tax basis is twenty dollars. So if it goes from twenty to thirty, now you're only paying tax on the ten dollars instead of on the, the twenty dollars. Okay. Do you get that or? Yeah, no, I got, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Are you guys are tap tax loophole enjoyers? I I enjoy. No, no, no maybe bit. not a loophole, but you know, within the tax code, there are there are some opportunities yeah. there. Yeah, not loophole is that not a correct term? Not really. I think loophole has a negative a connotation, connotation to it. I, I I think using the tax code as it's intended is a great thing. I guess I'm referring to things <laughs> like billionaires borrowing and then borrowing their borrowing and borrowing their borrowing so they never have to pay capital gains tax. Eventually, no, but the thing is eventually they'll pay the capital gains tax. It goes somewhere. Now, the the goal is that you will pass away and that your heir, your heirs will inherit that at a stepped up tax basis. I think that's a that's a loophole that they will close at some point, but right yes. now it's totally fine. Uh, so I'm all for it. I think for most people, it doesn't make sense to borrow against assets to pay for things. But if you're in a category where where you could do that effectively, then I think it's okay. What about the flying to Puerto Rico, living there for the 10% income tax, and then sailing out of it? Uh, there are a lot of stipulations to doing that that you have to follow. Uh, I think a lot of people just think blindly, oh, I'll move to Puerto Rico for six months and a day and I'll save all this tax. There's certain businesses that are qualified to do that. You have to comply with that. I think if you go through the process, uh, why not? But I think it's a lot more involved than most people think. Sure. 